I'm Gary Jenner, Nova Coffee. Today I'm going to show you four things that you need to do with your espresso machine every morning, even before you have your first customer walk in the door. These four steps are important because it will prepare your espresso machine to make the drinks the best they can be. It's easy to remember. We're going to start from the outside and work in. Your espresso machine may have two steam wands, it may have one. This beautiful white eagle that we just brought in has two. So the first thing you're going to do is check your steam wands. You can see ours are over the grate. Each steam wand, you want to press the lever first to take out any of water that's condensed in the tip. So that's all we do, just a one second dispense. Then pull the wand out and lock it down. steam knowing then that the holes are free and there's no clogs. The steam is not hot so you won't burn your hand. Let's do the same over here. Purge to release water that's gathered in the tip. Pull the wand out. Four jets of steam. Perfect. Step number two. We want to take some water out of the boiler. So all espresso machines have a hot water faucet. Take your large milk foaming pitcher and we're going to fill that up with water. You may be using your water for making tea. If that's the case, you're already changing the water in your boiler. You can see it's nice and clean. Smells fresh. That's what we're looking for. The reason we do that, the boiler in the espresso machine is large and it's almost full of water. But that water is for the production of steam. That's not the water that makes your coffee. So if you didn't change that water regularly on a daily basis, and let's say you made a couple of hundred drinks a day, you're not changing the water for fresh water by making coffee. You do need to take a pitcher to two pitchers out every day. Step number three, we're going to check each of the two coffee handles. We want to make sure there's no dry coffee left in from overnight. So you just take the handle out. You can see there's some grinds there. We're going to use the no-stop button. Rinse the handle out. Put it back in and just back and forth a couple of times. Take it back out, rinse. Shut the group off. We you know that handle's clean and ready to go. Let's do the same with the second one. Rinse back and forth a couple of times. That releases any grinds around the gasket. That handles nice and clean. Now the last step, number four, is the most important because we want to brew a shot and make sure that the stream is correct. A good shot of espresso should brew in 25 seconds. That's the Specialty Coffee Association recommendation. You can see on this machine we have handles with double spouts. That's because we do all our drinks using a double shot. That's going to be between 14 and 18 grams of coffee in each handle. But right now I don't know if the stream is correct because I don't know if the grind's right. So before we serve our first customer, we want to brew a shot and check that. Just give it a little tap before we pack it. Swipe the grinds off the seal of the handle. So we're looking for a time that should be around 25 seconds. The stream should be like the tail of a mouse or honey off, warm honey off a spoon. You can see that that's what we've got. Now the bigger bubbles we're getting there are because this coffee was just roasted yesterday and it should gas off even a couple of days more. So we're rushing it a bit by brewing with it. That's okay. You can see the creme is still very nice. Lots of it. So we're 29, 30 seconds. Beautiful looking drink. So we know that's good and we can work with that. 25 is the goal. You never want to go below 22 seconds, and you really don't want to be above 35, but 30 to 35 is even okay. So let's discard that cup, and we'll come back and try our second handle.
You don't have to brew a shot in each one. I'm going to do the manual pack on this one. But it's good to do a couple of coffee shots. This helps warm your machine up. And you know for sure when you're done that everything's ready to go. Beautiful stream. We're getting some of that fullness in the stream now. That's because of the carbon dioxide gas still present in the coffee. one was 32 seconds so I'm going to bring the grind I'm going to make it a tiny bit coarser just to compensate and I'll go half a number you have to be careful that you never move your grinding wheel too much you do small increments at a time you do too much your grind is way off and then it takes a lot of time to get it back we call this dialing in your grinder so that's it four steps to get your machine ready first thing in the morning to make great coffee. Thanks for watching.